Okay, let's go down here for a second. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, sorry about this. I, I accidentally pressed E and I actually forgot that we can actually read stuff about the um, items that we have. So the mallet. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. But remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. <laughs> okay. What about the um, bobby pin? Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. What? That... What? Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. How can you not... Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, and then the muffin, we, we know the muffin. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly missing... something here. Let me... let me see now. If we go back, we have that. Oh, hello. What? 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 Medicine cabinet. Opened the medicine cabinet, and this is a nail clipper. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it because they're rusty, but they can grab something lodged in a wall. So, wait a second. We have something lodged in a wall, and that something is... is... just getting there. I'm, I'm gonna get there. One point is right through here. We have that, that nail. Come on, let's get to the nail here and see if we can lodge it out of the wall using our brand new rusty nail clippers. And moment of truth, boom, there we go, pulled the rusty nail out of wall with the nail clip clippers. Rusty nail, for some reason the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a good conductor of electricity, possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. Thank you very much for, uh, yeah, for giving me this information. What can I say? I actually didn't quite think that this would be used as a fuse, but hey, I'm gonna go ahead with it. Because nothing else makes sense, probably. So, since we got this door open, we can do this. Use the rusty nail against safety regulations. And now we can attempt to start the power. Restored power to farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. <laughs> so that means that we will be able to see more stuff, hopefully. I'm going to tr really have to be very careful um, with searching for things because, like, it seems I, I tend to miss things. Um, let's see now. If we go upstairs, I can hear something. I can hear something. What the hell? Okay, here we go, here we go. Look, This looks a little better now. Whoa, look at this thing. This lamp, oh yeah. This is some uh, interesting stuff here. Okay, what do we have here? This is a CD player. You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path has opened to you. To the barn and silo. Oh, here we go. Top secret. An old CD, it's label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created, this brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making 
Even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. <laughs> okay. What else can we interact with here? Now that it's light. Nothing. Really, nothing else. At least in this room, by the looks of it. Yep, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's check the next room. Ooh, look at this now. Nothing? Whoa. A weird painting or picture. Okay then, well, if new routes have opened... Can I see... Can I check them in here? No. Let me see here, because I could see from this... No, not from here. Maybe from here. Not this. Again, I'm trying to jump. Yeah, it looks like we have an open route here. So, okay. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go there. Let's see. Let's go to the barn. Let's go to the barn here. See what we discover in there. Hold shift to sprint. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Okay. I like this. Progressive... Progressive discovery of stuff. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped items for clues. Okay, this is... What the hell does that say here? Butch... Paba... Green... Kidney... Cure... What the hell does that say? Ride in style. Oh, that's the car outside the house. Cool. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Uh, what? No. Okay. Horseshoes and I don't really know what these things are. Okay. Oh, what is this? A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while No 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 appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Corn of the world. There you have it. Corn of the world. I didn't even know there was... Like there were multiple types of corn in the world, but... Okay. And we have a broom. Boom. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this. But you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. <laughs> That's a glove. We've seen a bunch of glove boxes. Maybe we need to find a glove. What the hell? Bad. Good. And they don't know what this was. Okay. Another cap with the reindeer, like the one we saw in the house. This is a one half of a diagram. A diagram, torn in half, contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, yes, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. What? I didn't try to eat the diagram. Oh, look at this. We have a... <laughs> Get pumped! We have a... Like a fit person in here. Or... 
Someone who's trying to get pumped. Is there anything hidden in here? No, there doesn't seem to be. This is another cap here, and this is, looks like a sombrero or something like that. They could be... Oh, I think I know what these are for. They were trying to build scarecrows. And put caps on them and, and, um, and like, whatever other hats. Uh, and gloves and so on and so forth. That's, that's what I think. Okay. Boom. Anything else around here? No. We can sweep stuff with the broom. But we don't know where to sweep stuff. But also it said this would not affect our adventure. Okay, okay. So the, there was another path opened to something else, I believe. Let me check around... Let me check around here. Yeah, you need to go this way. That's the way I'm going at the moment. Oh, hello. Let's see, can we get in here? padlock a padlock that we can open with the bobby pin here we go okay whoa whoa okay an old telescope A item added to the folio whoa uh, manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. <laughs> Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. I bet. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Uh, though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. <laughs> this facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest numbers of number of corridors that led absolutely nowhere. Oh my god. Why did we build all of this? <laughs> is written on the blueprint. <laughs> So it's the blueprint for for this location here. Now, I bet you, I bet you, we have to use our broom, or not? I thought we. Come on, here we go, here we go. Cleared pile of corn, kernels from broom, and now we have a needles pliers. Uh, uh so, sorry, need, need, what the what the fuck, lead. Sorry, needle noose pli pliers. What the hell is wrong with me? Needle noose pliers. Uh, you know, you saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. How do you know? Um, you know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. You are so right. You are so. That's exactly what I did. I tried to pull it out with my hands. And I couldn't. Okay. So now we know what the pliers are for, which is great. But, lightning this way. Oh, this should be fun. Why wouldn't you want to go towards the lightning, right? Stop. <laughs> I'm not pressing Q. Oh, what is this now? Is this one of those devices that, um, like, grabs lightning? I don't really know how they're called. There's something here. A charred name tag. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what, uh, what did you try to do, buddy? 
It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Okay. Oh, and you have... what do you have here? You have a glove. Gloved, severed, hand. Okay, that is creepy as fuck. Gloved, severed hand. A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could, it could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Okay. Very fashionable fedora. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Okay, it was Fernando's... Fernando's fedora. Gotcha. And this path is locked. Okay. Um, a little bit creeped out about the hand. Gloved severed hand. There's nothing else in here. Oh my god. What the? Why can't I move now? For some reason. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, okay. What else do we have? So we have the pliers here, so... We can quickly go into the house and grab whatever is stuck in the um, in the sausage grinder. So let's do that. I, I presume that we're going to use this gloved severed hand on that... Um, what's it called? On that door. So we have two out of the three items probably. Sorry, one out of the two items. And probably the top secret disc is going into that circular uh, thingy on the door. So maybe we actually do have two out of the three items. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's go back into the house here and grab. Whatever is stuck in the grinder. And... Kaboom! Pulled warped key fob out of sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Key fob. Oh, wait a second. What? This wrapped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that will do the job much better. I like the fact that, uh, you know, the game actually tells you what you need to do. <laughs> so we need to go upstairs here. Like in here. And put the key fab onto this place, right? That's what I think. Boom, here we go, placed a warped key fab on the workbench and then use our mallet like so. The key fab has been smashed good and flat. Now grab it. So is this the key that we need? This, this key fab has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your deci decision immediately. I think this is the key... Ooh, is this this I think this is the key that we need to use on the door, but shouldn't we shouldn't it have like a key attached to it? I wonder. I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh was there anything else? I think there was something else opened, right? Let me see here. This is the way we came through. Okay, so this is basically the door. Gotcha now. This is the door to the bunker or to the secret laboratory. Let's see if this thing opened here, this uh, this path. No, it didn't. 
Okay, then. Um, hmm. Let's go to the secret laboratory, then. We have... So, we have the severed hand. Yeah. The key fob and the CD. So, yeah, like I said, I, I presume that the CD can be used... We, we can actually use the muffin as well to open the... Because it's circular, right? But I think the CD, because it says top secret on it. And, you know, it would make more sense if it, if it was the CD. To me, at least. <laughs> Let's see. Was it this way? I think so. And to the right. And then to the right again. And then it's right there. There we go. There we go. Come on. Let's see if this works. So. Hand. Shit. Uh, excuse me? Okay, that doesn't work. That's not good. This works. Okay, so I was right about this. Slot for a key. This works. What the hell? A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended. Okay. Um, shh, let me just get back to the house then. I need to get that glove loosened. So maybe, I'm just thinking, maybe we need to put it in that um, sink that we filled with some rancid oil, um, corn oil, right? Because that would maybe loosen it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. And see if it works. A lot of walking in this game, I know. A lot of walking through corn. But this gets me, um... It gets me very interested to find out what it's what is in the bunker there in the in the secret facility underneath the farm <laughs> that has a bunch of corridors that take you nowhere. Okay, so if we go in here and we put the glove in, he oh, okay, here we go, perfecto. Loosen the glove from severed hand. Slightly disgusting. Slightly, yeah, I would say. Very disgusting. Eesh, look at that. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Now, let's go back. Let's go back to the secret door. So... This is weird. Okay. The the hand looks like a left hand when you when you have it like this, but then it's like a like a right hand when you inspect it. Once you manage to tear down from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. Yeah, okay, okay. I know, I know. It's uh, just, uh, like I said, it's just a little bit weird that it looks like a left hand and then when you inspect it, it looks like a right hand. But as long as it fits... Am I going in the right direction here? I, I don't think I'm going in the right direction. No, I'm not, damn it. This is not the direction I wanted to go in. We still haven't seen the corn that was running away from us. Which kind of gets me worried that they're hiding. Well, they could be hiding in plain sight here, you know? We could actually be looking at them right now. Oof, that would be freaky. Um, through here, and then to the left. To the left. It's 
it's very quiet in uh, on the farm here for the moment at least and it's actually uh, set up in such a in a pretty beautiful location I have to say like uh, you can see there in the distance some uh, some um, trees like a forest like a pretty cool forest um, this way and then again this way and come on it's right here right yeah it is okay cool come on let's open this boom Ooh, let's see what we have here what the hell hey hey uh, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! You must sh answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> okay. A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What <laughs> animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Riddle president. Okay. Why did it vote unclear on the election? Oh, we should just really argue with that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? Uh. I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. <laughs> okay. I told you they were watching. They were watching us. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Excuse me? 